Haiti. So the, the assassination in Haiti? He must have been on like the verge of something, apparently. The verge? I, I, no, always. he didn't leave. He didn't leave uh, office. He was to leave. He was supposed to leave office so they assassinate him like that? That's crazy. Not they. Apparently it was masterminded by some Haitian doctor who lives in America. One doctor. That's what they're saying. A Haitian doctor who lives in America masterminded this and hired 20 assassins from Colombia and Please another and Haiti, stop that. four Haitian Please assassins and the bullshit. rest of Colombians. They stuck into <laughs> the Dominican Republic and with the Blickies. And then they, they, they were supposed to kidnap them. And then it went wrong. And then they wound up murdering them and then getting in a shootout and then getting arrested. What the fuck? What? <laughs> Oh, man, it sounds what? bad. That shit is crazy. How, how can it be just one dude making all these phone calls and, and moves happen? Haitian doctor, bro. So why was he supposed to leave office? He was not a good president. He wasn't. He was his term was over. And he decided to just stay. Yeah, because Haiti's fucked up. He's like, nah, I'm not going nowhere. Y'all need me. I mean, I guess you can't do that. No, no. And, and, and it's all fucked up over there since the <laughs> since the earthquake and the hurricane. It still hasn't been stabilized. It hasn't been stabilized. And I highly doubt the money has been stabilized. Like all that money that was raised and donated and funded. Like I'm, I'm, I'm still to this day. I, I want to know which company is, you know, taking the lead on like we're going to rebuild Haiti. You know what I'm saying? Like announce it. Like, let us know we're we're on the forefront of, you know, rebuilding communities and schools and we're going to make Haiti a, a better place for all Haitians. Where is it at? I don't know. I just know they said why Clef was still in the money from Yale. That's what they said. Allegedly. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's what but they were saying. That's what they were saying in the streets. And no, Cordell Stewart is not gay. All right. That's what they're saying in the streets. Just saying. OK, so um, why Clef was not putting the money <laughs> <laughs> That's still my favorite fucking thing over ever almost. Oh my god. It's like, how? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Man. It's just game. one rumor. One Not rumor. Stay with you. Started by a cop. That was percent It just went in one ear and just stuck. I was like, yeah, there it is. And He's like, yeah, you're cool. You, see, that thing is you take you're so accepting. You're like, yeah, that's fine. There it <laughs> like, is. that's fine. There you go. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. You know me, I'm so I'm such so toxic. I had to fight it and go, no, he's not. What do you mean? No, you're right. you gonna put my man's it. out there like that. Yeah, like, yeah, man, yeah. You will not accept it because you're you're progressive. I get it. Keith. The fuck I Steelers. Get it. I get it. You know what, what I mean? Next yeah, day, you know they're stealing out there. They're yeah, stealing your butts. <laughs> stealing <laughs> your butts. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, dude's like, yo, thanks for the cover, bro. Now I'm not I'm eating gummy bears for a week. I'm still confused on what, 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 why, why did they have to just kill him like that? I mean, I guess they were supposed to kidnap him, and they wound up murdering him in like the crossfire, I guess. But they're supposed to kidnap him. This is like bring him in and then try to like arrest him, like citizens arrest by a bunch of Colombians. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I what fucking fuck? hate Colombians. <laughs> I don't like fucking Colombians. Okay. <laughs> And I love Colombia. Shout out Me to too. We love Colombia. Yeah, yeah. Shout out it's to Colombia. <laughs> um, but yeah, 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 man. Haiti's fucked up, man. It's all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so while Haiti is fucked up and South Africa is fucked up, we got billionaires going to space and sending motivational messages. I mean, is it that motivational? Was that flight impressive to everybody? Because it looked like some shit that they already be doing in like all those movies where they take a plane and they do a zero gravity effect like Superman or whatever and shit. They, they like go way up and then they dive for like however long. It wasn't a dive. He was right. on the outer rim of space. He was on the outer I rim. I know, of the but it was. No, he was looking down at the globe. Shit. That's pretty yeah. ill. He was looking down at Earth. Yeah. The Not like down in the plane. He was right. looking at it like in a sphere where he could open his hand and go, this is Earth. Like, I'll give yeah. him that. I'll give him that, right? You went to the outer space of the rim of Earth. You're rimming Earth. That sounds real sexy. Okay, so right. you rimmed Earth. <laughs> um, how many? How much money did you spend to do that? And how many people could you have fed with that money to not rim Earth? Yeah, that that's what I'm always on. You know what I'm saying? Like, cool. What if you didn't do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Bullshit floaty in the outer space for 10 seconds thing. And give me a, a motivational message. And stop a lot of people from a lot of deaths in different ways. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just, I, 
I do know. What I would like to know is put a lot more, uh, you know, advertising on that side of Richard Branson's ventures. Oh, Richard Branson, you know, fed Brazil for six months when they, <laughs> when they had a, a rice shortage. You know, like that, I, that's what I want to cheer for. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, help us figure out some shit here. Oh, we've we've we located the plastic floating eyesore in the Pacific Ocean, and we're getting it cleaned up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a thumbs up. Billions oh. on going to float with six other people and shit, and you know some cool pictures in the background. That's how we're gonna lose. That's how we're gonna lose the battle. In my big opinion. time. Shout out to in Maxwell's house, C one hundred. Maxwell's like, I mean, yo, bro, imagine, you know, having, he's like having sex in G4 and G gravity, bro. I mean, he's like, you're in G gravity. How are you not having sex, bro? And I'm just like, you know what? It sounds good, but G gravity, zero gravity sex is overrated because you don't really got any fucking foundation to do the pushing. And now you're just emasculated. Now you're just humping, so humping someone in the air, basically. And you have no cushion for the pushing. You know what I mean? No found, no base. Once you hit the base, you're both booming off the base. You know what I mean? That's one thing that they don't talk about. They never talk about like, do they get erections? Do they have to masturbate? Because the motherfuckers be up in the space station for a year or so. Oh, they jack off. They jack off in space. You're gonna tell do me they? you do that jack? You, yo, bro. Ew. The amount of I jack off in, in on Earth. <laughs> if I'm in space with no buns, oh, 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 they're gonna be like, yo, someone's someone must have dropped their yogurt. Oh no, 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 hold on. Ew. Like, get that. Sorry, guys. No, my bad. My bad, no. guys. They my don't bad. jack off in space. What? Say what? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> they recycle the pee water. You better believe they're jacking off in space. Oh shit! Yo, they are That's jacking awful. off in space, dogs, for sure. Because you can't really have sex. You, I just told you, you're gonna need to both be strapped in somewhere that holds you, so that I can get a, a push, a foundation off some kind of base, so that I can thrust into you, and so that you don't go far from my thrusting. That's that's damn near BDSM. We're all tied up just so we can have some sex. It works for some people. You can get head in space though, and you can give head in space though. Sixty nine, just float, a floating sixty nine. See, Max, you like think you about that. Floating sixty nine. It. it feels like you, you're so close to the gods, and you shouldn't be behaving that way. <laughs> Aliens are freaky, bro. What are you talking about? Freaky. Um, yo, imagine the first alien contact, and it's just you're you're sixty nine-ing. You're, you're your female co-pilot, and the alien just pops up. It's like you're just like oh, 69. <laughs> floating sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello, uh, alien. <laughs> First let's, contact. Let's <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Let me finish contacting this pussy. I'll be back in two, uh, three minutes. <laughs> shit. I think that's Player. a new show. <laughs> that might be a new show. Star First freaks. contact. <laughs> Star freaks. First contact is a good one, too. <laughs> Space freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Astro freaks. <laughs> With, right. and, we, and we love, it's sponsored by Astro Glide, the number one <laughs> in <the> space. <laughs> 